Hey friends, my name is C and you're watching Game Mr. Easy. Welcome to a new video for A Level Fundamentals. And today, we have 1.44 roots of quadratic equations for the questions video. And we'll get started with the first question. But before we get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And we'll get started with the first question. And these questions are from Exercise 1E from the Core Peer Textbook, so you can check it out yourself. But anyways, here's the first question, or question 3. Given that 2 plus 3i is one of the roots for a quadratic equation with real coefficients, uh, part a, find the other root of the equation. So we know that it's a quadratic equation and every complex root comes in complex conjugate pairs. That means the other root has to be the conjugate of 2 plus 3i, which is 2 minus 3i. And find the quadratic equation and give you an answer in the form z squared plus bz plus c equals 0, where b and c are real coefficients. So we know that we know um, one of the roots outlets named alpha, alpha equals 2 plus 3i, and beta, the other root, equals 2 minus 3i. So using the, the rules that I showed last video, we know that the quadratic equation is can be simplified into z squared minus a plus uh, alpha plus beta z plus alpha beta equals 0. So basically this is b and this is c. So then we can find what alpha plus beta is. So alpha plus beta, let me just zoom in. So alpha, oops, alpha plus beta is just 2 plus 3i plus 2 minus 3i. So the 3i and 3i cancel out so it just left with 4. And alpha times beta is equal to 2 plus 3i multiplied by 2 minus 3i. So we can use the, sim the, the, the rule where it's different from 2 squares, so you just add the, the square of this and the square of this. So 2 squared is 4, and 3 squared is 9. So you just do uh, 4 plus 9, which is equal to, let me just see, it's equal to 13. So two, two, uh, 4 plus 9 is 13. So then now we can just put it into the quadratic equation. So it will be z squared minus what's a plus b? So alpha plus beta is four, so it'll be minus four z, and alpha times beta is equal to thirteen, so it'd be z squared minus four z plus thirteen, like so. And move on to the next question. Given that z one equals minus five plus four i, and it's one of the roots for a quadratic equation, find the quadratic equation z squared plus b z plus z equals zero where it's basically real constant. And it's basically like the question just now, but it doesn't give you any prompts. So we know that z1 is the root minus 5 plus 4i. That means the conjugate of, oops, that means the other root is, let's say, z2, must be the, conjugate, the complex conjugate of z1, which is equal to minus 5 minus 4i. So we know that the quadratic equation is equal to z squared minus z1 plus z2, z plus z1 times z2 equals 0. So now we can just find what z1 plus z2 is and z1 times z2. So z, oops, z1 plus z2 is equal to, zoom in, equal to minus 5 plus 4i plus, sorry, yeah, plus minus 5 minus 4i. And the minus 5 plus minus 5 equals minus 10 because the 4i and 4i cancel out basically. And then z1, oops, z1 times z2 is equal to minus 5 plus 4i times by minus 5 minus 4i. So to expand quickly as mentioned just now, you just do the square of 5, 5 squared, 25, plus 4 squared, 16, which is equal to 41. Right, so, so now we can just find the quadratic equation. So I just rewrite it here and um, here. Yeah. So it will be z squared minus z uh, z one plus z two is minus ten. So it will be minus minus ten z, which is plus ten z, plus ten z, and plus z one times z two, which is forty one. So it'll be plus forty one equals zero, and that will be the quadratic equation. And question six or the third question. Given that 1 plus 2i is one of the roots for a quadratic equation with real coefficients, 
Find the equation giving you answers in the form z square plus b set plus c equals zero, where they are both where they are all integers. So just like other questions, but we're just basically practicing our skills to find the quadratic equation with a given root. So let's do uh, let's let alpha be one plus two i. That means beta, the other root will be the the complex conjugate of alpha, which is one minus two i. So we can find what alpha plus beta is straight away first. So alpha plus beta equals 1 plus 2i plus 1 minus 2i. And that will cancel out to get this and this. It will get 2. And then we have alpha beta. Alpha times beta is 1 plus 2i times 1 minus 2i. So that will get you 1 squared, which is 1, plus 2 squared, which is 4. So 1 plus 4 is 5. So you get 5. So therefore, the quadratic equation will be z squared minus alpha plus beta is z plus alpha beta equals zero. That means if I that means if we were to rewrite it as uh, the num the numerical numbers that we got just now, it would be z squared minus alpha plus beta is two, so minus two z plus alpha beta is five, which is plus five equals zero, and that's the answer. And the last question. Given you know that z equals 5 plus qi and the root of the quadratic equation z squared minus 4pz plus 34, where p and q are positive integers or a real constant, find the value of p and the value of q. So this is more of a complicated example where we have to use algebra to get to the, the form of the equation and compare the terms. So just like just now, we can, just, we can see that z is one of the roots, is equal to 5 plus qi. That means the other root must be... 5 minus qi. So we can find the product and the sum. So z plus z plus z the conjugate equals 5 plus qi. qi plus 5 minus qi. And qi and minus qi cancel out. This and this. That means you just left with 10. And then we have z z asterisk. They both multiply together. So it would be 5 plus qi multiplied by 5 minus qi. You will basically get the square of this plus the square of this. Or like the same because they're both the same terms. Like 5 and q and 5 and q. So it would be 25 plus q squared. So, so we can now just put the terms together. It will be z squared minus z plus z asterisk. Z plus z z asterisk equals zero. Sorry, it will look confusing because they're, they're all z. But anyways, here have, um, from the question, let me just write out the question. The question says that it's equal to z squared minus 4pz plus 34 equals zero. And from our working, we know that z squared minus z plus z asterisk is equal to 10 on top here. So it be 10z and z times z, uh, z times z conjugate would be 25 plus q squared equals 0. And I'm sure you know, I'm going to show you guys know where we should go now. So it's basically, you can just uh, equate the terms. So it's basically 4p equals 10, and 34 equals 25 plus q squared. So, so now we can basically just solve for the terms. And let me just write it up here. So I'm just... Um, I'll just rub these arrows. So we we'll know that 4p equals 0, sorry, 4p equals 10, and 34 equals 25 plus p, sorry, plus q squared. Therefore, we can solve for p and q. So p will be equal to, oops, p will be equal to 10 over 4, which can be simplified into 5 over 2. 5 over 2. And we know q Q squared, if Q squared plus 25 equals 34, that means you can rearrange to basically find, to, to get, get or simplify into Q squared equals 9, and we can solve that by just squaring both sides to get Q equals plus minus 3. But you have to read the question. The question says P and Q are positive real constants. So it's important that you read what the, the question says. So it's positive, that means it can't be negative 3, and it has to be 3. So therefore, Q equals positive 3. And these are the final answers. 
And that's it for this short video for 1.4 for roots of quadratic equations for the questions video. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss on any future videos. And if you have any comments or constructive feedback about my channel or my YouTube or Instagram, you can leave them down below and I'll reply to them. And check my social media in the description for example LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check my website in the description or you can type it out in your browser at www.yemuseeasy.com. And I hope you all find it useful and helpful and I'll see you on the next video which will be 1.5 for solving quartic and cubic equations and something on the line. But until then, stay safe and happy learning.